I am going to run you through the easiest team to build in Monster Sanctuary. If you're running out of shift stones and items and you need more loot, it'll grind through arena so quickly it makes it so easy. Or if you've got some tricky champions you've not quite defeated yet, chances are this team will five star them for you. And it's so, so easy. I'll walk you through exactly how to do it, starting with a really basic setup of the team through to the, the complete uber setup that will wipe out of the trog in a couple of seconds. So first up, what is this team? It is Fungi Fungi Troll. Now you can run this with just the basic unshifted versions of each of them. And I'll show you an example of that working shortly. However, if you've got the option, what we really want is we want two dark shifted fungi and a light shifted troll. Fungi, you pick up in the blue caves, and troll is down in the depths of the ancient woods. Right, monsters, easy. Let's run through the skills they need. So, depending on whether we're having the straightforward unshifted team, or the dark shifted fungi and the light shifted troll, the skills are going to be the same. So both our two fungis are built the same. We're taking everything in this right hand tree, other than the antitoxins at the bottom. Our spore's gonna let us apply a load of weakness and we're gonna have multi-weakness to help. We've got dominance, which is gonna run up damage based on the debuffs we have. And we've got proliferate, which is just gonna spread extra hits or debuffs. In this middle tree, we're just picking up a little bit of utility. So we're taking health focus to increase our health values from equipment, give us a bit of survivability, relate our health to our defense. Again, just extra survivability, bit of mana regen improved, and an extra attack proc. Uh, for every additional attack, an extra attack, an extra chance of spreading a debuff. And then on our left hand side, this is really where the debuff spreading really kicks in. So multi-poison and toxin is going to help us spread poison for every hit and rack up the debuffs. And then poison cloud is going to hit all enemies with a 50% chance to apply poison. And remember, with two of these fungi, we're going to be spreading poison everywhere all of the time. So these two guys are setting up the debuffs for our big damage dealer, the troll. For the troll, we're taking this left hand tree and the big one that's gonna do all the damage is Poison Eater. Get that at level two and it's gonna deal an additional 20% hit for every poison on the target. Now we're gonna have up to nine stacks of poison on the target, so that is an extra 180% damage on top of everything we're already gonna be doing. It's gonna be massive damage. We're not bothering with crits. Poison is going to be the way that we do the damage. Again, we've got more dominance, stacking the damage from the debuffs, and two stacks of the Giant's Bane is going to increase our monster damage again. And then Death Blow is going to give us an extra 5% damage for each debuff on the target. We debuff our enemies to death, and then we come in with this and just one-shot them. In this second tree, we're stretching our way down so that we can get to multi-poison here. And also, we like the Cave Dwellers, which lets us heal ourselves by 10% of our health at the end of everything. This is just useful for extra survivability at um, throughout the arena. Same with recover in this tree. And finally, on the right hand side, we're just taking anything that lets us get down to attack plus, and also looking at a bit of an opportunity to apply some armor break with our hits, which is going to tie nicely with additional debuffs, rack up the debuffs on the enemies. Right, all we're going to do is we're going to use the standard equipment and weapons that are available to us, apart from going to one shop. We're going to the trader at the tree at the top of the ancient woods and we are picking up what he sells so he sells a bow he sells a heavy mace and he sells poison dart and those are our three special bits of equipment that we are going to use so one of our fungis is just going to carry anything that increases his magic so wand bracer wizard hat ribbon using some of that health getting a reasonable health pool getting a reasonable amount of magic he's just going to spread debuffs our second fungi is making use of that bow that poison dart. So the bow is going to give us additional damage hits every attack. And our poison dart is going to give us an additional chance to hit poison and weakness for every hit. Again, it's all about spreading the debuffs. Our troll is just all about the attack damage. So to start with, we can use the heavy mace that we've picked up. That increases our non-crit damage by 15%. We're not doing crit damage here, straight up attack damage. Then anything that will boost his attack damage. So here we've got helmet, needle and bracer. So if you've not got much equipment yet, and you've got nothing special, the best way to get more of this is to grind through Arena. And the best way to do it, really, is not to go as far as you possibly can through Arena, because the later rounds of Arena are slow going. You want to burn through 
maybe the first hundred rounds of arena as quick as possible get the loot start again and rinse and repeat and this base team will comfortably get you to sort of level 70 and we're doing that by launching poison cloud on everybody a slime again as our ult picking the person with the highest amount of debuffs and then finishing them off with a poison ear and it is rinse and repeat of that and within three to four turns you've quickly wiped out the enemy team and this will comfortably get you like i say to about level 70 get all the reward boxes in open them up get more loot and let's see what we can really build to make it even faster and to build as a team that can really take down some big enemy champions okay so here's the top end equipment that you can put on this team for the fungies we want bow again and poison dart hide for a bit of health and defense bit of survivability and then cauldron allows us to get debuffs which are 10 percent more effective against enemies more damage coming from the poisons our other fungi it's very similar but this time he's going to use lightning sphere where he's got a chance to apply debuffs of especially armor break but also shock and we only need one cauldron so this guy's not got a cauldron finally with our troll we've just added an extra poison dart because it comes with a massive amount of attack needle embracer in there we're gonna one shot anything that's got massive amounts of debuff stacks on it and when you've got to this build this will tear through the first hundred levels it'll farm anything you want if you need more shift stones whatever you want so before i go into some finer details if this is useful to you i'd love it if you could hit us with a like now food for every single one of them bananas we're going to wrap them with as much health as possible give them a little bit more survivability and like I said, this team will tear through Vitrag in a round and a half. It'll six star him. It'll definitely five star most monsters. And yeah, you are laughing with the ultimate cheese team of Monster Sanctuary. However, this isn't going to do you any good in PvP. I make no promises there. So gang, enjoy your Monster Sanctuary. Looking forward to the new update. I'll catch you in a bit.